Huh. Oh, what's up, guys? Now, here's where things start getting corny. And I wanted to point something out as I was looking through my movies here. Something that I noticed that's kind of bothering me. And it's eating away at me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It's little things like this that eat away at me. They keep me up at night. And not issues that of like why I still live in my parents' basement. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. I'll go into a little bit more detail. There are two types of DVDs that I've noticed in my movie collection. And we'll pull a couple out just to show you. First off, we'll choose Goodfellas. And for another example, we'll choose Jason and the Argonauts. Jason and the Argonauts has a regular DVD. Nothing out of the ordinary. The movie Goodfellas, on the other hand, has a different DVD. A double-sided DVD. One side is for special features, the other side is for the actual movie. I bring this up because this is usually when the production companies cheap out and just include two things on one DVD and don't want to include two separate DVDs, you know, in the same DVD case. But this doesn't mean that the movie's bad, like I was explained earlier. So you may ask, where am I going with all this? Am I just wasting your time? Let's just get on to the review. Well, I wanted to bring this up because of one thing. In my Rocky collection, Rocky 1 and Rocky 2 get their own individual DVD releases. Rockies 3 and 4 do not. They're on a compacted flip side disc. You flip the disc to one side, it's Rocky 3. You flip the disc to the other, it's Rocky 4. So, is that saying something about these movies? It's almost like saying that, yeah, your first two movies were great, but the rest of your movies, yeah, they weren't good enough to even get their own DVD releases. Yeah, they're just going to be compacted all into one disc. That makes me afraid going forward with the rest of the Rocky movies. Hell, they don't even include Rocky 5 and 6 on this one. Holy shit, are there six Rocky movies? How many of these did they make? God. No, apparently they made six. Well, without further ado... Let's dive right into Rocky 3. So in the previous Rocky movie, he had won his rematch with Apollo Creed, got the championship, and everybody lives happily ever after. So what else is there to talk about? Well, we have to show Rocky go on a winning streak and a bunch of over-the-top fights that turned out to all be just cherry picks. If you don't know what that means, he's not fighting very good opponents. We have to have an over-the-top goofy villain. We have to kill off Mickey in a totally unnecessary way. We also have to have Rocky fight Hulk Hogan, and we need another 80s montage. Oh, and we need this scene. No, I don't hate Balboa, but I pity the fool, and I will destroy any man who tries to take what I got. What's your prediction for the fight, then? Prediction? Yes, prediction. Pain. Not even being sarcastic, I actually really like that scene. I think it's funny. Huh. I guess this movie got one thing right. So yeah, in this movie, Rocky defends his title like 10 times, and he's about to retire with just then Clubber Lang calls him out. So Clubber Lang ends up kicking Rocky's ass and killing Mickey. I don't know why. Why'd you kill Mickey? Really? Why Mickey? I love Mickey. Why'd you kill Mickey? He didn't have to die. I mean, come on now. So anyway, yeah. Uh, Mickey dies and all that, and then Apollo Creed ends up training Rocky to win his title back and all that Rocky stuff. Huh? Da 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 da. Doesn't it seem kind of redundant now? Now is it just me or did Rocky seem smarter in this movie? I mean, think about it. I mean, in the last movie, he was kind of a bumbling idiot, but you still liked him. In this movie, he seems like he can talk normally. He can read. I mean, hell, he could barely read in Rocky too. Now he's like reading. He's got suits on and shit. And he's like, oh, but I mean, it's like, uh, I don't know. I guess money does really make you smarter. And also, again, why the hell did you have to kill off Mickey? I mean, that's just so over the top and all that. But it, I must say, though, Mr. T, he's pretty fun to watch. I mean, he's such an asshole, such a loudmouth, and I'm not going to lie, yeah, he's the best part of this movie. Anyway, remember when I said in my previous Rocky review, the one of Rocky 2, that I really didn't like the fight at the end because it was pretty over the top and cheesy? 
It's a million times worse in this movie. In all of the fights, nobody keeps their hands up. They just swing all over the place. The punch sounds are once again really over the top. Just like... <laughs> And it's, uh, it's, yeah. Also, every fight has to end by knockout. And in the movie, Apollo Creed trains Rocky to beat Clover Lang in a certain way. He said there's a certain strategy that they train for all movie. That's why they have the big 80s montage where they're running on the beach and everything. And that big, you know, moment that was like, you know, a better love story than Twilight. But in the end of the movie, Rocky ends up abandoning that whole strategy and still wins the fight. So it's like, all that was useless. I will say this, though. I did like seeing Apollo Creed and Rocky work together. I thought that was really cool. And I also like the ending where Apollo Creed demands the third rematch. I also like that you don't know who wins it. As much as I complained about this movie, I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, it's cheesy and over the top, and it's kind of pointless in its existence, but it's not like I regret seeing it or anything. I enjoy it in the same way I enjoy the Adam West Batman movie or the old Godzilla movies. It's meant to be corny and over the top, and that's all part of the fun. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.